Hi, this is Ramaji. Today I want to talk about the importance of the no-thought state on the path of self-inquiry meditation. Once you have practiced self-meditation for a while, you will begin to understand that what you are doing is returning to the no-thought state. Your natural state is the no-thought state. The no-thought state that you achieve through the meditation is not identical to your natural state in the heart, but it does approximate it. And you need to be able to stay in the no-thought state for a period of time during meditation in order for the heart or the self to fully come forward and take over and fully dominate your experience and ultimately eliminate the I thought so that it falls into the heart. The heart must come forward and be totally dominant. For that to happen you must abide in the no thought state and for that to happen you need to have knocked out most of the mind. So all that hard work will finally pay off and you'll be able to hang out in the no thought state doesn't mean you have to do it for hours or half an hour, or ten minutes, maybe even not for one minute, but you have to be able to hang out in a pure no-thought state. And part of the process is that you begin to recognize a pure no-thought state. It is truly deep rest and you will recognize it. Typically, uh, most forms of watching meditation uh, they're secretly self-indulgent. You watch thoughts. It's passive. And this enables thoughts and silence or thoughts and the no-thought state to mix. I'm going to talk about that next and I'm going to talk about the neutral blank state. But what I want to say right now is that the heart or the self has no thoughts in it at all. That is why it is also called no mind or Buddha mind. It has no thoughts in it at all. It never did and it never will. So abiding in the no thought state, being able to hang out there during meditation, uh, except for say when the I thought rises up or some other thoughts rise up every now and then, that's the key. That's the key to being available. If your mind is really busy, uh, then your availability is very limited. The self, the heart, is silence, it is stillness, and the way to get there is to rest in that state to the best of your ability. This is what you will arrive at as a result of doing the path of self-inquiry meditation. You will arrive at the pure, true, no-thought state. When the self is realized, when the heart is realized, then you can have thoughts or not have thoughts, it makes no difference. You may go through long periods of time where there are no thoughts. I've gone for days where I did not have a thought and I was being very active. Other times I have a fair number of thoughts during the day. I notice every thought, I'm aware of every thought. That there are thoughts. But it makes no difference to the natural state to the Sahaja state, it makes no difference because it's a stateless state. And the heart allows thoughts at that point because the I thought has been eliminated. Therefore, functional thoughts can arise, other thoughts can arise, they make no difference. They do not affect your happiness, your peace, or your love. If you would like to talk to Ramaji, email him or receive the Rasa transmission from him in person or long distance over Skype, contact him at his website ramaji.org, or you can meet him in person in San Diego, that's ramaji.org, thank you.